is how Thoth looks. Archangel Raphael, creator of the universe, God the good, loves you Capricorn. September is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone sapphire. Your birthstone is garnet Capricorn, so what we need to do is find out how these two gemstones resonate with each other. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to learn how to contact me, please visit my website at www.readingsbyrosemary.com where we provide you with all the information necessary on how you can obtain one of our spiritual consultations, psychic astrology, Rosicrucian Kabbalah, as well as classes and upcoming seminars. We teach everything from Kabbalah to Merkaba to ceremonial magic to practical magic. There's many videos and books regarding Merkaba, which is an advanced type of Kabbalah. Now, the regarding all the various instructors in, in Merkaba, we have our own teaching in our order that, that we've developed. But there is uh, one teacher who's very good, and there's a way you can get acquainted with Merkaba if you haven't already. Uh, Mer means rotating fields of light. Ka is uh, spirit, and Ba is soul. And there's a book called The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life, Volume 1. This is Volume 1 by Mr. Drunvalo Melchizedek. There's this picture there. That's an excellent book on, on many uh, ideas about sacred, uh, sacred geometry and of uh, the flower of life uh, and the, the Merkaba theories. It, it touches on various various uh, portions of this and this is also the ancient secret of the flower of life volume two again that's mr drumbelow melchizedek he he uh, i believe is in an order regarding melchizedek order and it has a lot to do with sacred geometry i was privileged to be able to go to one of his seminars several uh years ago in honolulu where he was teaching about uh subjects from this book and some of his other works. So I know he has uh, various works, uh, uh, he has various books and CDs and uh, maybe DVDs and uh, YouTube uh, channel videos that would be great for you to watch. Uh, he's an excellent, excellent teacher. We recommend those books highly. Now regarding September's gemstone of sapphire, it has the light emanations of the astrology archangel known as Hamaliel, and your zodiac sign uh, gemstone of garnet has the properties of light bestowed by the zodiac archangel Hanael. So this is Hamaliel because of September and Hanael for you specifically, Capricorn. Now stay right here as we give you the gemstone and angelic information particular to your ruling planet of Saturn, Capricorn. Gemstone of Garnet and um, the Zodiac Angel Hanayel will, will be associated when you look at magical correspondences with uh, regarding Capricorn, while Blue Sapphire and uh, Amethyst and Lapis Lazuli are the precious stones used to align oneself with the energies of the planetary angel Cassiel. And uh, this is uh, Amethyst. It's a very rich purple, sort of a a portion of, of that. So these are um, very beautiful types of gemstones. And regarding uh, Cassiel, the planetary angel Cassiel, he's assigned to the planet Saturn in Kabbalah. Now the planetary archangel Zafkiel is also associated with Saturn with cold, albeit sundry, angelic names, applying uh, attenuated levels of of very um, more light frequencies, more you know less coarse frequencies, but this is also associated with Saturn because Saturn uh, is Lord of the Ring planet and it generates substantial, though restrictive levels of bestowal through law and adulation and acquired possessions as well as uh, property. You know, so be quite mindful of your own intentions and your own potency when utilizing these powerful gemstones in unison with each other. Now, the, the Kabbalah, uh, there's, there's a, 
various types of representations of the of the tree, the Kabbalistic tree, and also the cross and Christ and the bride of Christ, the holy guardian angel. Regarding you know the this this is the the structure because basically Kabbalah is the uh, a science that has to do with spirituality. It's it's it has to do with the the causal bodies, the body of light, the astral bodies, those kind of things, your emotional body, all of these kinds of things, the parts of you that are immortal, the parts of you that are not, and how indeed the parts that are immortal are able to house themselves in more and more coarse and dense levels so that it, at one point uh, there is paradise, a physical type of paradise, but it has to be an elevated or glorified body as it says in scripture. Now here on the tree we have the upper three supernals, the holy guardian angel. This is the part that lasts uh, eternally. And we have the sephira of Keter and Chochmah and Benah. These are Hebrew words, Hebrew spiritual words. Words, and there there are there are Hebrew God names and angelic names in these sephira. They're containers, and there's paths in between. And indeed, tarot cards can be are really a pictorial or a sort of a rep representation of this. They're like flashcards. Tarot cards are like flashcards for Kabbalah. And th the fact that Torah and tarot are similar, there's a reason for that, because there's a connection. Now here's uh, the cross and Christ on the cross. We have here, uh, this is Chesed, and th this is mercy, the merciful king. This is the, the king that wins by his own hand, the conquering king, Gebura, Jupiter, Mars, or Zeus, and, and Ares. Uh, they, there's Hebrew names as well, but those are names you're more familiar with. Uh, this is uh, Venus, Hod. We have uh, uh, Netzach for Venus, Hod, uh, it's, uh, Mercury. The moon is here, uh, Yesod, and Malkuth, and that's where we have the earthly kingdom. But there's a lot of Saturnian aspects because we have the bride of Christ here, and the Klipoth, indeed, the, the uh, evil inclination in this area. So you have Yod Hey Vav Hey, the world of Asai is here, uh, the world of Yetzirah is here. You can read the Sephira Yetzirah, Sephira Yetzirah, excuse me. Uh, you know, you have um, a world of Bri and Atzalut. Those are the, the worlds of Yod Hey Vav Hey, fire, water, air, earth, king, queen, prince, princess, and indeed the tarot cards are laid out in that manner. In the Yod Hey Vav Hey, again, Yod Hey Vav Hey is the Aries permutation of the name of God. Uh, there are other permutations. So Yahweh that you know as Yahweh or Jehovah, that's the Aries permutation of the name of God, Aries the Ram. All right, now, okay, th this representation is, a, is more of a Golden Dawn style, a Rosicrucian style. It's an older representation of the Tree of, of Life or the Tree of, and the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil. Although they're two trees, but they have various uh, ways that they present. Now, the planetary angel of Saturn, Cassio, remember Saturn is here in, in Bina. That's, that's Bria, but then there's Bina. And that's more of a, more associated with uh, Holy Mother Mary. That's where uh, the Saturnian aspects uh, are represented. Also, also here again, because the Bride of Christ, so Mother and 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 mother and bride, and this is why in the in the Catholic statues she's you know holding down the the evil inclination or the clepotic forces, but then she gets elevated to where she's walking on the clouds or her feet are walking and create roses because she's been elevated or lifted up by you know in al in alchemy it's called the eagle it lifts up the evil inclination to a higher sublimated state. So there's there's external alchemy being you know, done with particle accelerators, and then there's uh, where you can actually turn lead into gold, and then there's also the, but that allows the spiritual alchemy as well. Now, regarding the, uh, again, the planetary angel Cassiel, who is the speed of God. Now, this is since Saturn was seen in the Chaldean order of the planets in their system of astrology as being the planet with the greatest speed when considered from the Earth. The Archangel Cassiel is known to be assigned by God to watch over creation without interfering. He is said to be a tearful 
and melancholy angel who spends eternity in solitude who is present upon the death of kings. Saturn is known as God the lawgiver. And God the lawgiver is found in Genesis chapter 2 verses 16 to 17. In the Dewey Rames Bible we read, And he commanded him, saying, Of every tree of paradise thou shalt eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat, for in what day soever thou shalt eat of it, thou shalt die the death. Your earth guardian archangel, Uriel, speaks to you from your Capricorn astrology archangel, Hanael. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Capricorn zodiac angel, Hanael, who resides over the goat's cardinal earth nature. And these are his messages for you in the areas of love, money, and health. First, Haniel's love, rapture, and romance transmission with help of the archangel, the earth angel, Uriel, who resides over all the earth signs and resides and presides over the uh, cold, dry winds of the north. We have an indigo, angelic, light frequency of Hanael combined with encouraging therapeutic resonance flickering towards deluxe genuinely sympathetic inner and outer curative tonics there's a lot of uh, tonics made from gemstones and flower essences that are very helpful and the beams of light enthralling to the eye from the gemstone of sapphire exciting romantic ambitions through delightful blessings given forth from September's mercurial angelic realms and the itinerary of his birthstone's lavish as well as restorative and brilliant qualities. Magical energies of a truthful permutation of zodiac angel Hamaliel's natural sixth house attributes because the, the, the sixth house it has to do with the health and daily routines and service to others. And, and in addition to your own Capricorn energies, uh, because you're associated with the tenth house, it bestows to you a vibrant reward beaming towards seeing fresh ideas come to fruition, as well as continuing and more fortunate omens for you. And that's in the distant roads ahead. Now, dazzling means of accomplishment are the resource of the traditional zodiac sign of Virgo for the point of charismatic, thrilling ways to work for increased enlightenment. That's due to September, the Virgo energy. And that brings in humility, also an increase of cooperative sparkling of precise light that fills any hunger with an atmosphere of inspired happiness, granting impetus for remedies of both spirit and matter, calling upon new intentions, beckoning forth from a gem which shines captivating yet practical abilities for the owner of such a gemstone through lure of mercurially affected vortex centers of the throat chakra, high heart, and solar plexus chakra attributes, thus producing copious amounts of happiness through rejuvenation of one's holy guardian angel. Holy guardian angel found up here in the top three supernals. This happens to be Raphael, but he's standing in as a representation for the Holy Guardian Angel for the moment. Now, regarding the 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 high heart uh, thymus gland, this is a very important for your your immune system function, your good immune system function function, and, and you're going to be going up these planes of existence. And you're going to have communication made cogent through a balancing of associations with the mercurial throat chakra and the thyroid gland attributes, as well as high heart thymus we just talked about, which is the immune system, and, and or upper and lower uh, solar plexus chakral adrenal gland. So the, the upper solar plexus chakra has to do with the adrenal glands, and the lower solar plexus chakra has to do with pancreas functions and awareness. Now, willpower through the throat chakra has to be understood through self-determination and vigor through intelligence and upper and lower solar plexus qualities of ego health that activates the sephiroth of mercurial potency in Hode plus the invisible sephiroth of Daath is also mercurial. Now, and that's knowledge. That's where other realms come into play. Other dimensions are attainable. Um, often called the abyss in Daath. 
Now, Hoed and, and Typhereth here were Christ resides, 666, the solar logos, and the invisible Da'ath, again, the invisible sephir of Da'ath, thus obtaining how to attain and identify one's lunar power of Yesod, and Yesod is here, and, uh, and also for accomplishment of activating Venusian beauty in Netzach, and desire also in that sack, and that calls upon one's passion found in Marshall Gabura, where that conquering king, the, the man who is king by his own hand, resides in uh, Mal, uh, not Malkuth, I'm sorry, Malkuth is down here, but this is up in Marshall, excuse me, Marshall Gabura, Marshall Gabura. And uh, this is the, the realm where you can use all of this. Uh, all of these as sort of sources of a kind of sort of a sephirotic magical current generator of charm for love magic which is effective when influenced through mercurial qualities of intelligence in Hode and, and of, again found in the Ath and also uh, sort of a self-reliance to express in the throat chakra confidence but it, confidence just with humility and goddesses or gods of thinking minds it's about the thinking mind uh, and transportation and communication because of the third house associations with Gemini since mercurial attributes Virgo in September is going to pull in mercurial attributes and those mercurial attributes are because it's ruled by Mercury and then that's going to pull in the Gemini attributes because Mercury finds its abode in Gemini in the day and its abode in Virgo in the night. So that's going to pull that in as well. Okay. Now the the the, the tricksters, gods and goddesses found in Hode, will in the Sephir of Hode are named classically as Hermes Trismegistus for the Greeks. Also Thoth or Thoth, the Atlantean or the Egyptian god Thoth was also an Atlantean. Uh, like the Emerald Tablets of Thoth the Atlantean or the Emerald Tablet singular of Hermes Trismegistus, the same being. Also, this being can also be seen as the Archangel Raphael, the Archangel Raphael who resides over the east and the eastern coordinates and rules over the warm, uh, moist winds of the east. That's uh, Archangel Raphael and all the air signs. And again, he's a mercurial attribute and he's there because of his mercurial association with the Archangel Virgo Hamaliel. Now, regarding the Apostle Paul is also associated with the god Mercury, Hermes Trismegistus, indeed Thoth, or also, you know, Thoth, Thoth, also the scribe of the gods, also Archangel Raphael. So St. Paul is associated with intelligence and logic, this, me this mercurial logic that is found in Hode. There is desire and emotion in Netzach. There is a form of mercurial intelligence and logic found in the Sephir of Hode. Okay? So all of these are used in the performance of ritual ceremonial magic. Now for uh, Hanael's money and wealth transmission for you, knowledge, knowledge and conversation with one's holy guardian angel is important. And especially important with with a sort of meticulous familiarity with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And that's the name of the game when the sun unites forces with Mercury while transiting through zodiac angel Hamaliel's mercurial angelic realm, filling the mind with interesting problem solving abilities. Exotic financial instruments become available to heal any economic situation one may want to improve. And you can ev even put your money under a pyramid or you can put your crystals under a pyramid and you can get pyramid power. Indeed, pyramid power from utilizing the pyramid. It's very helpful when you're trying to, to charge water, you're going to feed your plants with, charge your crystals, or you can uh, utilize it, you can charge your money with it and your money will then uh, be able to be, you'll have economic health. Now, exotic financial instruments become available to heal any economic situation again because financial institutions as well as businesses understand 
that their vitality is better when those whom they serve are better valued. Cheering on service to others, daily disciplines. These are kind of Virgo-associated six-house attributes. And health through superior communication coming through the mercurial attributes when soul transits through soul is Latin for the sun, natural sixth house frequencies of the Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raphael with his cohort, the Zodiac Angel Hamaliel, and when they oversee activity bringing mental acuity and enlightenment into any kind of, you know, clear mind, you know, you're, you're, you're searching for sort of a, a mental acuity. And, and allowing for enlightenment into consciousness and an upper realm and a, climbing the higher planes. And, and you want to find, you want to bring light into the unconscious portions of the mind, allowing clear visions of God's great universe. So you have your, 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 your brain structures and you want to bring light into all the darker recesses of the mind and fill the mind with the illumination of, of the light of consciousness. And again, that, that helps with all the mercurial attributes found from the Virgo, uh, the type of Virgo sixth house association when the sun is transiting through the natural sixth house associations. And those desiring better financial health gain much from their efforts born of good habits. So that's your daily routines, your daily disciplines. You gotta, you gotta make sure that your body is getting plenty of proper fresh air and, and the right amounts of sunlight and, and be careful of the too much cosmic rays. So, you know, just, just make sure that you are getting proper nutrition, fresh air and exercise and plenty of, of proper sunlight during this time. Kabbalistic theory states that how one feels affects environmental conditions more than any actions taken. Therefore, it stands to reason that making sure one keeps oneself in proper mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical health by cultivating a continual sense of well-being keeps conditions prosperous as well as very pleasant. Now, when sincere, well-meaning, uh, well-wishing you know, to others is attained in human relationships, then tranquility and affluence are sure to be our outcomes. Now is the time for paying attention to one's daily schedules, habits, routines, service to others, and health habits. Helping, helping professions as well as gurus who help in perfecting daily disciplines are valued during sixth, sixth house considerations of the natural zodiac out of Virgo, the version with very strong mercurial willpower, making one able towards evoking great knowledge from storehouses of angelic realms, keeping everyone highly educated, healthy, and performing at their best, connecting to one's own personal money gnome in the Kabbalistic sephirot of Jupiter and Chesed and Venusian Netzach, which are important sephirot for income creation and money magic techniques being abundant sources of money for more economic health is sophisticated through making communication entertaining for you and interesting problem solving while encouraging expedient vocations through doing what one loves plant a, a lime seed and get a lime tree is the obvious product the world of Asaya is going to produce remember it's absolute Ebria, Yetzirah and Asaya to the throne of Malka the bride of the king, the king of Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. His kingdom in Malkuth begotten from excellent craftsmanship of good luck charms made with artistically precise skill far ahead of the comprehension of most beings brought to earth through etheric plane understandings that surrounds the earth plane is that etheric plane the, that, that sort of a membrane like a fascia around the muscle of the earth understandings resulting from focus on earthly talents dealing with friendly magical elementals upon which all magicians and adepts must rely remember according to Kabbalah space is Hasatan himself therefore God the good would be time God is pressure, according to Dion Fortune in her book, The Mystical Kabbalah. So understand that if God is pressure, that's time. Time is pressure. Where Hasatan, the adversary, is indeed no pressure. 
also sustaining a, a great zest for, for life is going to become more important if you want to keep mental acuity high so that quality of life is kept at a high level of stratification. Now, you're going to be able to get an ample knowledge, and that's going to be released when, when the sun, and again, the sun is um, associated with the archangel Michael, and when that's transiting through natural sixth house attributes, it's going to grant an essential sense of routine disciplines, and those disciplines are going to be released for the reason of granting one his or her own great self-reliance and happiness and fulfillment and a cheerfully calm disposition born of intelligence. Enlightenment is generated. And that, ha that happens when you have self-actualization performed and a technique of money magic that's appropriate for one's own culture, for one's own heritage and your religious upbringing. Because your DNA and your religious expression and your type of magic has to be congruent and cohesive. And a healthy economic uh, practices are going to really prove fruitful right around this time during the September time. Now watch this. Let's look at the book of Romans. Romans chapter 13 verse 8 in Webster Bible translation we read oh no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law the, th the throat chakra and the high heart upper and lower solar plexus chakras are revitalized immersed in cool soothing blue sapphire light and that is going to be synchronized during this time principally when good fiscal health inspires luscious environments and innovative imagination when those are the ambitions desired with September's gemstone it will bestow to you a frequency of well-being and a goodly portion of financial opportunities through which one may flourish abundantly flourish abundantly you want to use during this time you want a cool you want a cool blue light from these types of cool blue gemstones. And remember, you want to really use garnet and the amethyst during this time. Very lovely during this time. Now, Hanael's health and fitness transmission are going to be dealing with your health matters. And again, it's all about the brain. It's all about the human brain and the, the, the amazing... Uh, outcome of the human brain. Now, health matters improve tremendously during September because of an intelligence that is increased because of the mercurial aspects that we've mentioned during this time, especially when we have uh, the mercurial aspects of Thoth and the Archangel Raphael, Archangel Raphael, which are associated with St. Paul and with Mercury, and when 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 they're associated with the with the archangel of soul or the archangel of 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 the sun who is the archangel michael and triumph is going to be yours through knowing and using the medicine of metals along with alchemical gemstone array strategies made with precision instruments in the hands of stunningly sleek as well as noble beatific craftspersons for indeed what organization can thrive without a reliance upon those who form and shape the very structures on which you lean, sell products, indeed the very structures in which you live, brought into pristine consciousness throughout this astrological progression of the sun through the natural sixth house of service, health, daily routines and habits during September, contributing unique cosmological convergence arrays by cleansing as well as harmonizing of the throat, high heart, upper and lower solar plexus chakras. Throat or fifth chakra is analogous to visible, the in, invisible sephira of the ath involving the thyroid gland through expression of personal resolve through determined forceful tone, tempered, tempered with Christ's humility and submission to Father God. And that's Father God, Creator, Holy Spirit-filled speech. That's the Holy Guardian Angel, some call the Overself. Now, upper, fourth, or high heart chakra secreting healthful hormones such as thymosin from thymus gland secretion structures, that that's happens in the high heart, in the in the thymus gland in the high heart. You're going to get thymosin, again, from, from the thymus gland structures, and that, that's in the high heart. And that gives immune system, immune system, very good function. And that will get your immune system in, in tip-top shape. 
because the but there's one thing that they always tell you about your thymus gland, and that's that uh, sort of once you get past 10 years old, your your thymus and, and the, the thyroid gland, um, excuse me, the, the the thymus gland might begin to decline. So in order to keep it in good function, the thymus gland and the, and, and the immune system functioning well, you've got to strengthen the T cells, because it strengthens the T cells is what it does. And what you've got to do, if you, you know, when you're over 10 years old and they say it declines after that age, you have to have a good function by balancing exercises done throughout your lifetime. And the kind of, we're going to tell you about these exercises now, and it, it's, it's by Tibetan type of yoga. Now, a book I just can't live without is called The Ancient Secret of the Fountain of Youth. And the reason I cannot show it to you is because I keep giving it away. I keep buying it and giving it away. But I'm going to buy another one. But it's called, uh, again, quote, Ancient Secret of the Fountain of Youth, unquote, by Peter Kelder. It describes rega regaining youth using an ancient Tibetan system of yoga called the six Tibetan rites, of which only five are well known due to extreme austerity necessary in keeping a heretofore veiled potent sixth right discipline in an esoteric fashion or hidden. It's now it's been brought to light, but they're starting to hide it again. But now such practices keep one's energetic meridian system in tip top shape. And thus it will rejuvenate your health. Now this, the upper and the, the lower solar plexus ductless glands, include the adrenals and the pancreas, are also strengthened and revitalizing using these Tibetan yoga rites. Again, there's five well known, but there's a sixth one that, you know, the five give you health, and the sixth one is said to give people immortality or, or what, what some people think of as immortality. It, it just, they seem to just get younger and revitalized. And, and but you know there's there's various dietary practices but there's also a, 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 some very strict uh, as, um, disciplines that you have to be an aesthetic you have to basically be extremely strict now the reason we're talking about this because all 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 the all the chakras are going to be stimulated when soul transits natural six house frequencies and the ability to heal yourself so where the throat chakra enlivens the sephardic vortex of the ath or knowledge high heart as well as upper and lower solar plexus chakra activation happens during this progression that involves the sephir of typhereth then the heart which includes the soul of the heart and the ego of the solar plexus chakras now a fundamental awareness of one's true will leads to good adherence to biological law giving rise to well organize an accurate cellular task functioning towards vital health. A wonderful comforting, balancing, and therapeutic focus occur during September when one impresses one's per personal morphogenic field with an objective towards healing brought into reality through holding firmly to universal laws. Now, various members of various clergy who have very strict practices of their behavior can use the six Tibetan rites because the, the sixth rite, they're already doing the, the, the discipline of, of chastity so, and, and, and being celibate. So the sixth rite, you have to be celibate for it to work. And thus you can rejuvenate yourself through that practice. Now, follow this in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 to 20 in the New Heart English Bible. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have from God? You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. The New Heart English Bible is edited by Wayne A. Mitchell and is in public domain from 2008 till this present day. Now, lighthearted discipline is an important attribute during September. In the I Ching method of chakra healing, this portion of the year is significant for healing of the organs of the throat and the chest and the upper arms and the stomach, as well as the ductless glands that we already mentioned while cleansing, soothing, and harmonizing natural sixth house qualities, being that September is zodiac sign of Virgo's ruling planet of Mercury, which is concerned with the archangel Raphael, our wonderful divine physician, blessing, 
10 Kabbalistic Sephirotic Dimensions, plus bringing new awareness of 11 Sephir of Da'ath function, harnessing otherworldly dimensions congruent with annihilation of one's ego. Incorporation of the entire range of energetic frequencies of amethyst for the planet of Saturn and the Sephira Bina, Garnet for Capricorn and Sapphire for Virgo brings service to others as well as discipline and healthy daily habitual routines during September and that will cause you to become even more able to reach your goals of being capable of helping other people, other creatures. Indeed, people are going to be lured in by your selfless behavior, your service to others, and your forbearance during this astrological transit, bringing fresh and, and helpful opportunities, healthy environments, as well as stored up treasures from tireless giving nature as that you're going to really it's going to potentiate as well as as well as exacerbating your intelligence when natural sixth house attributes of service health and self-control in daily routines is your outcome granting a great patience and that's to accentuating uh, using september's gemstones as well as those corresponding to the planet mercury your throat, high heart, upper and lower solar plexus chakras are measured to be of enormous import throughout natural sixth house solar transits for the function of establishing rich treasures in heaven leading to establishment of Christ's kingdom here on earth, transfiguring our earthly bodies into our glorified bodies in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ demonstrated his body of light in St. Matthew chapter 17, verse 2 of Webster Bible translation we read, and he was transfigured before them, and his face shone as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. Astrocartographic arrangements currently as well as at birth must be revealed if a holistic style of unveiling one's inner nature is truly desired. A disclaimer is in order here. High magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed. This is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes. Remember to chant your divine tone of I user. Try your higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of being somebody who is able to utilize or utilizing. And please remember to be wise and be well and be all you are meant to be Capricorn. Now, regarding the information that we have utilized, we'd like to, before we get to that portion of this presentation, we'd like to uh, turn you on to the secret inner, it's just called Secret Inner Order Rituals of the Golden Dawn, uh, with the approval of Israel Regardi. This is a book, we love this book, this is a beautiful book. This is a beautiful, sublime, wonderful, wonderful book. It is just it's wonderful to read. It's about the inner order aspect, Golden Dawn aspect, and it's uh, again with the approval of, of, of Israel Regardi, and it's by uh, uh, Patrick Zaleski. And the Patrick uh, Zaleski, the Zaleskis are well known in the magical community, and their books are are so loved, and and they're so. Uh, they're, I believe they're from New Zealand. We have several of their books. This is a wonderful, wonderful book, a must-have book that you have to read. Now, with that inf uh, information, we also want to give you the information that the, the information found in this, in this document that we have um, a link to in the description box, and it, this video, the information, is based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I have committed to memory. Thank you for joining us. Please join us again.